Hi everyone, buzzing to get the win today and obviously taking the three points into the international break. Hopefully see you in two weeks. Thanks guys. Guys, Augs here from the US. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'm so happy. A happy Sunday. Chelsea 4, Southampton 1. Yes, we've done it. Happy international break. I'm not happy about it, but I'm happy that we won before the international break. What a game. What a game. I don't even know where to start, guys. Uh, Frank took me by surprise as usual. He is very flexible. I was thinking he's going three at the back because of the opposite team formation. But Frank did what was the good thing to do. So four at the back, Marcos Alonso and uh, the Cesar Aspilicueta, the captain, playing. And I was a, really, a, a little bit worried because of their performance uh, when, they pr when they play uh, in the flat back four. But you know what? They proved me wrong. They proved me really wrong. Aspiliqueta was one of the best. Alonso, man, the defensing display was on point today. You know, you have to give credit when, uh, where it's due because I always give them stick when they flop. So I have really to congratulate them for doing that. And Rich James was on the bench and he couldn't, he couldn't even make it because I think Frank Lampa was uh, checking to see who is gonna flop first. So I think the competition is just making those players very, very good. Even William, he knows that if, if if he doesn't play good, somebody else is going to take his place. So, man, what to say? This is just a spontaneous. This is a freestyle kind of reaction after the game. So I don't care what I'm saying. I don't care what I'm starting with. I'm just going on and on and on because I am over the moon. Anyways, guys, let's talk about our defense. Who cares about conceding one, get, one goal when you score four but it's still a little worry about it the communication was very poor for the for the goal but at the end we won you know and i'm not gonna blame anybody about it but it was like a, a lot of people involved in that conceding you know we could have you know prevented it very very far away you know, it was like misunderstanding after misunderstanding after misunderstanding until we conceded. And even Kepa Ariza Balaga was at fault somehow for not using a strong hand and all that. You know, everybody in the channel was wrong. So I'm not going to blame anybody. It's the whole system. And people pretty much getting on Tomori for, you know, few mistakes here and here and there. The guy is 20 or 21, whatever age it is. He just got to Chelsea team, you know. Sometimes he's overconfident, so he overplay because he knows it's going to work. But at the end, when he doesn't pull it off, and then he looks like a bad play. But, man, the guy is just confident and he's learning on the job. He's going to get better and better and understand that this kind of uh, attempt, I can't do it in my box or close to the box. So he's learning. He did it against the Lille. He has he, he done it today also uh, in this game, but he's learning and he's gonna get better. Set pieces also, you know, we had a lot of gaps you know when we defended set pieces and South Southampton couldn't really take advantage of our mistakes but you could you could tell you could tell that they could easily score so we still have some um issue over there but i think frank lampa is going to take a week off now just relax 
think about what next and just working on how he's going to fix his defense so perfect time for him to relax and watch all the games we've been playing so far so he can see exactly what is going on and what we should do to fix the defensive problems man people need to be afraid remember after the break um emerson is coming back rudiger is coming back loftus chick is coming back to training with the first team man i don't want to even think about it because it's very scary it's very scary because chelsea are going to be the team to beat i don't care what other people say but top four is there for us okay we are fifth right now but on different on goal difference so the way we are scoring right now we are going to outscore every team and we are going to be on top top three you know i i, I can see i can see chelsea finishing even second so i don't care about that i'm so happy about this victory oh man tommy 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 finally scored with uh, with the blue jersey <laughs> i was joking in my previous video saying that he always score with a white jersey but today man blue jersey score a goal he's with aguero on top of the chart over there so he's uh, the best in the league at the moment can who harry who <laughs> tammy abram and talking about haston adoy man he is improving each game this guy has crosses that nobody else will expect. He always cross first time. He needs just to improve on his finishing. But he's a kid. He's from the injury and he's going to, to, to improve his game. So I don't care about the mistakes that he's making now as long as we win the game. Because he's, he, he, he doesn't feel good about himself after missing that. So he's going to work very hard on finishing. So I'm not worried about that. Mason Mount, man, call the guy whatever you want, but the guy has the walk ethic of a horse. He worked very hard for the team and what a goal. Nothing else to say. Engolo Kante, few shaky moments here and there, but overall, great player. Look at the goal. You know, I can't say much about him. Uh... Jorginho was Jorginho playing with uh, a yellow card but finished the game as usual Jorginho what to say the next captain right <laughs> ah man who else who else I can say now because I don't even remember Zuma and Tomori did great okay um Jorginho was Jorginho N'Golo Kante was N'Golo Kante and William, man, I've been giving a lot of stick to give to William, but I think he was the man of the match today. Period. Nothing else to say. And um, the subs, the subs. Finally, Christian Pulisic made made it, and you saw he was tracking the ball, he was tackling, and what a pass, what an assist to Michi Bachwai. The German connection, the Dortmund connection at Chelsea right now, and it's working perfectly. Michi Bachuai, he just need one chance, one goal, that's it. And you have to understand Michi Bachuai and Pulisic because they were given only like eight minutes, 10 to eight minutes to go. So they wanted to impress, they wanted to make immediate impact. So you can understand that they, you know, they couldn't really care much about the whole team they were they wanted just to impress people immediately so when they were they will be given more time we can judge them properly but top game four goals scored happy international break and man i don't even know what to say right now guys if you are a true blue please like the video if you are a header please dislike this video come on you blues
Hello everyone, buzzing to get the win today and obviously taking the three points into the international break. Hopefully see you in two weeks. Thanks guys.